Hi! Today I wanted to show you the Dayrunner folio size Modena planner that I got that I talked about in my previous video. It measures about an inch and three quarters thick with not anything extra in it. I just have in it what, what came in it for now. And then width wise it's ten and a half inches and length wise it's thirteen and a quarter inches. So it's a pretty good size. Uh, the only color that it came in is this, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it's like a like a caramel brown color. It's really pretty. Um, and it has a handle on this side that sits flat if you didn't want to use it, but you can actually use it like a briefcase style handle. It's zippered closure, and the zipper pull is quite stylish. There's a matching one on the back. This did not show on the website, so this was kind of a nice surprise. It is almost the entire length of the back, and it has, I think this is called a gusseted pocket. It has like a half, or one side of it is gusseted, um, so that you can stick things in it. I'm sorry that it's hard to <laughs> to do this. It's so it's so large to get all on camera. So it's it's pretty heavy. Um, I got this so that I could have full-size pages that would have agendas for meetings so that I wouldn't have to fold them, but there are things that I would have to bring to people so that it would have so I could have um, unfolded pieces of regular sized paper. And I think this will do it. So on the inside there's a flap that you can slide things in and then the flap has different card slots. One, two, three, four, five, six card slots, and the top one kind of has a larger flap behind it. I took out the packaging, but I haven't really looked through this too much. Uh, it said on the packaging that the rings were one and one quarter inches. It's a size five binder. I don't know if that helps any of you. So it came with like a frosted plastic page cover, and then Let's move this a little bit. Then it has their brand, just like a, a paper. So like kind of like a cardstock paper that you can write your personal information on the other side. An advertisement that I should take out. And so then it came with several different options for, um, for you to be able to try out what kind of calendar you like. And I think they're all undated. So the first thing that they gave me is a multi-year tabbed monthly planning calendar, event calendar, yearly overview, and international holidays. So it's kind of, uh, the paper is, you can see through it, um, but it's not, it's probably like the thickness of a good printer paper. So it's a month on two pages, undated. It starts in January. On the side there's a column for notes and the squares look like they're probably an inch, so that I guess they'd be a rectangle, but like an inch and a half by an inch, and they're lined. There's space at the top for notes and for the year. And then down here, they give you calendars from, wow, 2008 all the way to 2015. It's the January calendar for those years, if that makes sense. And the days are, or I'm sorry, the months are tabbed on the sides. So then February is the same. I'm assuming they're all the same. So when you get to December, it's the end of the tabbed months, month on two page. Then on the back of the December page is an event calendar where you can list uh, birthdays, anniversaries, special days for each month. There's a list of international holidays and a side margin where you can make special date notes for each month. And it gives you the international holiday calendar from 2008 all the way to 2015. So the information is the same, I believe, going down. Yeah. Then they give you an eight-year overview calendar from 2008 to 2015, all of the months on one page. My husband approves. 
sorry if the camera is shaky because I'm having to hold this so I can pan. Uh, so, yep, there's eight years worth of calendars. That might actually be kind of useful. Then the bookmark for today, it says at the top, it's clear and it has a ruler on it in inches and centimeters. And it's a, it's like a thick plastic. Not super thick. I've felt rulers that were thicker in planners. Then it gives you, I guess this is a day on two pages. So it just says today record and there's a spot for the date at the top. And it says daily diary notes and it has a small column here an even smaller one there and then just lined paper all the way down so you can take notes on what happened to that day lists of things i suppose because then here's what the actual day on two two page spread looks like so the left hand side of that style of calendar it's undated and so you have a spot at the top where you can circle what's sorry, circle the day of the week, and then it gives you a little key to different um, notes for yourself, like in process, move ahead, delegated, delete, or complete. So you can make a list, it says prioritize the activities, so you can make a list of your priorities for that day and use their little symbols to indicate how you're doing with getting your tasks done. At the bottom of that, is an expense section that has three columns and then on the side of that is the schedule for the day it starts at you really could have a space for 7 a.m. it just says morning but there are numbered spaces from 8 to 7 and then there's an evening spot and then on the opposing page is that blank diary daily diary or notes so for people that like to journal with what goes on with their day or for people that just need to make notes and be able to keep them with like that particular day, um, I think this would be helpful, especially if you have to keep track of things um, and you need it all to be organized by time period so that you can reference, you know, various things. I can see liking this spread. Actually, I kind of like that spread just in general. This kind of is sort of built into the Women's Success Choice Planner, but it's not the same. It's a little bit different. I kind of like it though. So they gave you, or they gave me, a, quite a chunk of those. I'm still flipping through them. I don't know exactly how many days there are because I didn't count them. So those go through to the next section, which is contacts. So there's a contacts cover page. And then on the back of that is just lined paper. And then the contact page is for name and address, and they're tabbed with two letters per page. And they gave me one page of those per, per tab. So there's a spot just where you want to write whatever information there, email, and then over here on the side it says home, office, fax, and cell, and then there's a couple of extra blank lines. And that goes all the way a few of them have three on the tab, like OPQ and WXYZ. Oh, I'm sorry, and XYZ. And then behind that, they've given some extra pages of for contacts. I don't know how many. A few. So there's enough on each side for six contacts on each side. Then they sent me a business card holder and it looks like it has two four six eight slots on one side and none on the other so I mean you can always just do front and back so then you could actually have 16 they also sent me a large zippered pouch and then a full pad of note paper. It says notes at the top and it has a shaded column and then just lines and both sides are lined. So I'm assuming behind that is um, the cutout so that you can slide the notepad in there and then the pen loop is over here which I hadn't even noticed which is shocking to me but let's see what pens fit in there. 
So this is just a Papermate Flex Grip Ultra. Well, this is difficult to do one-handed. That just barely squeezes in. That was like the perfect size pen for that. And this leather is just like the leather on the outside, so I don't think it's going to be very flexible. I don't know how practical having a pen loop is there, or having a pen loop there. I don't know how practical it is to have a pen loop there anyway, because that's where the notepad goes. I wonder if that would kind of get in the way. I don't know. It zips up, so you can even just leave your pen in there and zip it up, and it'll be in there when you're when you're ready. Um, the inside is all covered with the same leather that's on the outside. Maybe this this feels a little thinner. It's hard to tell. Uh, there is a padding on the outside, so the inside is all finished with the same, it looks like the same leather. And this is a nice heavy flap of leather as well. And then there's something in there, maybe some sort of cardboard. And it has a contrasting stitching. It's white. And um, like I said, it's kind of padded. It has has a little bit of give. I think you can see that. So anyways, this is it, empty as it came. I didn't have to pay extra for any of the inserts or anything like that. I had thought about different planner systems, and when I was looking at them, I liked the idea of the Franklin Cubby because I liked what some of their their pages looked like. But when you buy the Franklin Cubby binder, first of all, the binder is really expensive, but then you have to buy everything that goes in the binder. And just like every other planner's website, it's very vague as to any kind of detailed information about what they're going to give you in the planner and what the pages look like or what the pages look like. It's very frustrating. So I didn't want to spend the money on the Franklin Covey because it would cost well over I think a hundred dollars for that what I wanted and what I thought I might use and I s still didn't exactly know what their pages looked like you know what everything looked like. So I looked at some different companies and Dayrunner had the reason why I picked this is I had ordered something years ago from Dayrunner and they had sent me an email saying that I could get 30% off my order if I reordered. It was like a we want you back kind of email. So I went to the website and I was looking around and I was reading the reviews because that's where you can get the most detailed information. And I saw this planner. It was the right size and it zipped up, which were two things that I really wanted. I also wanted a seven ring binder as opposed to a three ring binder because three rings to me, like if you're flipping pages back and forth, it's a lot less um, secure. It's easier just to tear those three as opposed to like seven all the way down the paper. So those were a few things that I was looking for and I wanted it to look professional and um, have a lot of room that I could put stacks of paper in it and keep track of what I need to do throughout the day. And so this fit all of those requirements and it was on clearance and it was like originally $75 and then I think it was on clearance Oh, now I can't remember. I want to say it was like for 30 something dollars. So with my coupon, I only paid like $20 or something for the whole thing, which I thought was an excellent deal considering the size. Looking at the quality, um, I mean, I haven't used it, but I, it, it looks nice. I mean, the stitching all looks sturdy. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap. And I got all of these different inserts. I also like that not only did they include the inserts and then um, accessories like the pouch and the notepad and the business card holder, but they gave me a variety of different types of calendars so that I could see what I liked. I know they have other kinds, um, but I like that I got not just one or the other, and maybe I'll keep some of the informational pages. Anyway, um, I hope that you found this helpful. I'm going to put my stuff in it and see how it goes and maybe I'll update you on that. Um, but this was the Dayrunner Modena Planner in folio size. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye-bye.